Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. Today on Creative Glam, we're going to do a lighted spring floral candle holder. This project is in collab with several other channels and being hosted by Christina of the DIY Mom. I will leave a link below to the other channels involved. Be sure you go and check them out and tell them that Sharon of Creative Glam sent you. If this sounds like something you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. And this is the list of the supplies you'll need. Now I'm going to take the stained glass paint and paint the insides of these jars that are going to be a part of the floral candle holders. And I'm going to stack them this way. I'm going to glue them. But before I glue them, I wanted to paint the inside and make it somewhat of a, I don't want it opaque. I want a transparent green color. So let's go. Let's give it a try here. gonna um, use the paintbrush. I figured I'd swirl as much as I could and then use the paintbrush. I hope you guys can see this. I, I wanted it a little darker than this, a little slightly darker than this. Like I said, I've never used this particular um, paint. Well, actually, I've done window, stained glass. Window cleans that you do, stained glass. I've done those, those before. But I've never done this before, so this is this is kind of new. And the the object is, as I said before, is to be able to stack them like that and still get that color. And I think that's pretty. I think it's going to work out quite well. I can tell already. Because I didn't want to use regular paint because I didn't want it to be too opaque. I wanted it transparent. And I thought about stained glass. Um, I, I wanted a stained glass effect in the center of the candle holder. I'm trying to take it all the way to the edge without taking it over. Uh, I think that's pretty. I like that. But I tell you, it sure gets light. It doesn't, um, you know, when they say transparent, that's what they mean. It's very sheer. A little more sheer than I want but um, I guess I'm gonna have to put a couple coats to get it to the depth of color that I'm looking I for. ordered these colors from Amazon and um, like I said I've never used this particular brand but it seems quite interesting So far so good. So I just figured I'd keep swirling it until it's pretty much dry. That's one of the, the differences from working with this type of paint. It's um, I don't have to go outside in the cold and that's a great thing, but it's not instant. That's one of the things I like about paint in the can is, you know, it's more of an instant gratification kind of thing. I can spray it, I can walk away, and I can come back. I don't have to babysit it. Versus like this, you you know, more effort is required to get the look that you're looking for. With the can, more time is required because you gotta, you know, your dry time, you have to take into consideration. That is this. so pretty. You guys see where I'm going? You feel me with this? I know you do. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm trying to get. Yeah, but this is gonna be a two day process cause this is gonna have to dry. Actually, it might be longer than that because I've got, I've painted these and I've gotta let them dry. And um, then after that, I've got to glue them and I've gotta let that dry and I've gotta use E6000. I was considering using E6000 along with my glue gun so that I can get to work on it right away. So I might, be able to knock at least one day off. They're not a difficult project to do. It's a very easy project to do. It's just kind of time consuming because you gotta let the paint dry. That's a day. You gotta let the glue dry. That's a day. All right, this is the fun part. Okay. 
Now I'm actually going to assemble the, um, ooh, I'm gonna assemble the candle holders. Let's see, I'm gonna try. also add a little bit of um I'm gonna use a little e6000 and I'm gonna use a little of um I'm gonna use a little bit of the glue gun as well because it helps it to set better faster I should say not necessarily better but faster oh that's it real fast you see it it's almost like they touch it instantly it's bonded I'd never tried this method before all right I've got those glued oh, these strings let's boy I tell you glue gun huh I love it Just a dot of the uh... when you sit it, it is pretty much set. Six thousand on, and then a dollop of so I'm going to let those dry a little bit, guys. And then we'll come back and finish up. It's been a few hours since I glued the project together. It's not completely dry, but it's, it's set. So I'm going to uh, finish up here by adding my bling wrap around my stained glass colored tea candle holders here in the center. I'm going to add my submergible lights, um, my submergible face lights, and I'm going to add my flowers. So we're gonna finish this up here. It's not completely dry, so I have to be very careful, but I think it's dry enough for me to finish the project. Lean around this. Let's see, let me hold it. And then that way I can see a little better what I'm doing. Oh, that's crooked. Here's one. This one. And that's the second one. That is so pretty. That is so cute. It's really turning out nice. Super cute, super cute. It's not hard to do, it's just that you have to work in increments because you have to wait for the paint and things to dry. 
Here you go. These uh, submergible vase lights. Where's my other one? They're multicolored. They change colors and they're submersible. So the first ones that I've put in here so far are the honeysuckle. I don't know if you can see this or not. And now I'm gonna add berry. I don't wanna put too many. Honeydew. I need to mix these up together. I feel like I need more pink. That is so pretty. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, excuse me. For my topper, I just basically um, gather some flowers, cut the stems really short, and gather together a bouquet. Okay guys, we're all done. I think this turned out super cute. It's not a difficult project to do. I would say it's easy, but it does take some time because you have to work in, there's so many parts to it. There's, there's so much waiting time. That's what I wanna say. There's so much waiting time in between each step. First, I took stained glass paint and I painted the tea light candle holders in the center of this spring, this lighted spring floral candle holder. I used green stained glass paint, painted those, let those dry overnight, 24 hours. Then I had to come back the next day and then I glued together the bottom piece, the pillar candle holder. I had to glue that to the painted tea light candle holders and then glue that to the actual ball vase. And then I need to let that dry. I didn't do a whole 24 hours on those because I used a little bit of, um, I used my glue gun in conjunction with E6000, which kind of gave me a little more, um, it adhered much faster. So I let this sit for hours as opposed to overnight so that I can get the project completed for you guys. Then I added my submergible tea light. My tea light, my submergible tea lights are multicolored and they switch. And if you watch, you'll see the color shifting. It shifts colors. It also has a remote. I added the glass fillers. I used green, I used pink, I used yellow, and I used white, which kind of gives me that iridescent look that you see happening there, which I think is gorgeous. And then I put my little bouquet bundles together. I took my florals and I Put my, I picked my colors that I wanted. I bundled them together and I just stuck them in the I, top. I um, didn't think about till right now that you could have used the little styrofoam balls and put your flowers into that. And I may do that next um, at, when I changed my flowers out. I didn't want anything permanent because I wanted to be able to get into the inside of the vase when I, I think chose overall, to. It came out super cute. I love it. I'm, you may end up seeing these on my spring tablescape that is to come. So keep an eye open for that.
I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in. Today. I hope you got some inspiration from the project I just completed. I had fun it was making quick, it. It was easy and it's super cute. If you give it a try, let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscription button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we upload new videos. I upload new videos every week between Tuesday and Wednesday. And on that note, again, thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.